Now, before we get into the top 18 Marvel films, I want to say that if I have the studio series, that will be my season 3, which is a throwback. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, let's go jump right top in. Top 18. Coming in at number 18 is The Incredible Hulk. I gotta say, Abomination in this film is an older great in all. I mean, yes, it's a good villain, but Hulk, in the storyline, I mean, it's kind of confusing. For me, it's only, I mean, it's kind of confusing, and, yeah, I mean, The Incredible Hulk is an all that good of a movie, but still, it's part of the MC. Coming in at number 17 is Thor The Dark World. Now, Thor The Dark World, I gotta say, The Ether and The Reality Stones, uh, um, 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 uh, Loki, Odin, yeah, I mean, Thor in this film, in this franchise, I, I gotta say the weakest, and Malkin isn't all that good of a villain, I gotta say he's the weakest villain in the MCU, so, number 17 of Thor The Dark World, gotta say, yeah, coming in at number 16 is Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 isn't all that gro uh, good of a movie. I mean, yes, I am pumped about this movie the last time when I was a kid, okay? I got, I'm, I'm totally honest with you. And because War Machine is there, but I gotta say, Whiplash is an enemy. Okay, I think. And Justin Hammer is a good villain on that, uh, that film. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of confusing. To number me, so. 15 is Thor, the first Thor film. Now, I gotta say, the Thor franchise is an okay, um, the, in, in Thor, I really gotta say that they introduced Thor, but at the same time, this isn't all that good, but still, it's a introduction of Thor characters, so the three warriors are there, and Lady Sif, so... And, uh, yeah, Loki is an enemy as his brother, Laffy's son, and, yeah, I mean, it's kind of confusing for me, I mean, it's not kind of confusing, unlike the Thor The Dark World, it's very confusing, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not a good, so, yeah, that's my number 15, number coming 14 is Avengers Age of Ultron, now, Avengers Age of Ultron, I mean, I kind of liked, uh, but it's an okay film, yeah. So, Avengers Age of Ultron. Ultron is not that good of a villain in this film. I mean, in the comics, when I, um, when I read the comics, I'm like, dude, Ultron is so strong, but in the film, he controls the internet, and that's it. He can't control the Iron Man suits. I mean, you, you, I mean, of course, he can control the Iron Legion, but the... Um, the Iron Man suit of Tony, you can't control, and that's not good at all. Ultron is a villain in this film, it's not overall all exciting. Coming in at number 13 is Captain America the First Avenger. Now, Captain America the First Avenger, I do like, because back at World War II, um, there's Red Skull as an enemy, as a villain, and, I mean, it's a good villain, I mean, kind of resembles um, the MCU, uh, franchise. I mean, this, uh, Red Skull about this film and the World War II thingy with the surgeon, with Surgeon Barnes and Agent Carter is there and, yeah, the Nick Fury is there at the end of this film. So, Captain America the First Avenger back at World War II is overall good. Now, I gotta say, that's my top 13. Coming in at number coming in at number 12 is Iron Man 3. Now, Iron Man 3 is um okay. I mean, it's okay to me. It's a good movie because I rated it 80% out of 100%. I mean, it's a good film. I mean, there's Aldrich Killian, the Mandarin and the extremist thingies right there. And I gotta say, this film has a lot to do with the can't sleep because back at the Avengers, they are fighting the aliens, which is the Chitauris. And they remember that the wormhole, the giant wormhole where he saved the day, he still remembers that. That's why he can't sleep and that's why he's making, 
He's been making armors and again and again and again. So overall, I really think this is a good film with the extremis with the Mandarin, but the Mandarin is is just an actor in this film. But Aldrich Killian says that he's the real Mandarin. Uh, that's kind of confusing to me as also. So Iron Man 3 is a good Coming film. Number 11 is Ant-Man. Now, Ant-Man, I really think Ant-Man is a good, good film. I mean, it's extra better than the uh, past uh, movies of what I just discussed. But this Ant-Man is a comedy movie at the same time with actions and fantasy, with science about um, about the Avengers. Is also uh, Falcon is there, and uh, um, where uh, where's their enemy is uh, the Stark Techs, which is Stark's uh, builds Stark's uh, tech. That's their enemy again. Uh, well, they're, they are Pym Tech, so, yeah. Pym vs. Stark is a good example of this film. I mean, it's, it is better. I mean, it's good in the franchise, so. I gotta say, Ant-Man is good amount of film. And number 10 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, we're coming into the good stuff. But Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is a comedy movie as opposed to more action. It's more on comedies, not a whole lot of action sequence in this film. But it's all about uh, Peter Quill, Peter Jason Quill, and his father, Ego. And at the same time, Ego is the villain in this film. I mean, ruling over the world, all over the world, and other worlds is also destroying and Ego is the only planet that's living. That's his plan all along and that's why his child, his children dies because of that and yeah I think this is okay film. So yeah. And number 9 is Doctor Strange. Now Doctor Strange is a very good film. The visual effects, the video effects, the sound effects, the movie effects on this one is a good presentation of this film because Doctor Strange is actually um, more like on a magic tricks it has the time stone in it so that's why it's better and it controls time and at the same time Kaecilius or Kaecilius? Kaecilius, yeah I think Kaecilius Kaecilius and Dormammu is there, but at the same time, Kaecilius is the main villain in this film, but yeah, I think um, Doctor Strange with Wong, with Mordo is okay, and it kind of resembles the uh, Infinity Stones. Wong will continue the stories about the Infinity Stones in the prelude of Avengers Infinity War. So I think that this is a very good film. Coming in at number 8 is Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy is the first introduction of this um, Guardians, which is uh, Star-Lord, Gamora, Groot, Drax, and Rocket, Raccoon. And it's more on comedy plus with actions. And James Gunn, directed by this film, is a good presentation of the MCU. And I think in the because in the comics, it the Guardians are probably the weakest team on the MCU. But on this film, it's not that. It's more on um, personality that they can do. So that's why this film is way better than the comics. So Guardians of the Galaxy is my top eight film. Number Coming seven in. is Thor Ragnarok. Now we're coming into the the excellent stuff. Okay, the Thor Ragnarok is a comedy film, plus with the action sequences there. More on story with Hela, Loki, Odin, their pasts about Hela and the Valkyrie, um, which is in the planet Sakaar with the Hulk and with Jeff Goldblum played by the Grandmaster, which is he's the Grandmaster, 
and yeah, and Korg, which is Taika Waititi, and I think that is a great amount of film. I mean, it's excellent. I, that's why I am very pumped about this film. It's more on comedy, and I am very pleased with it. So thank you, Taika Waititi, about this film, and I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm so, I'm hard on laughing because um, on this film, it is very funny. Number Coming six in. is Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, Spider-Man Homecoming, it's probably the best Marvel, I mean, the best Spider-Man film that has ever made, directed by John Watts. And John Watts directed this as a new storyline that the Tobey Maguire film and then the Andrew Garfield film. I gotta say, Spider-Man Homecoming is Tom Holland and at the same time with the Avengers in it, and um, Vulture, played by Michael Keaton, is a great villain. Then in the comics, is a weak villain. But on this one, I think it's almost the greatest villain of all. I mean, he doesn't plan to take over the world. He does plan to take down Stark. He does plan to uh, take Stark's uh, techs and all. To, make, to build weapons that destroys everything that's new on mine and vulture is a good villain on this film and spider-man is good in this film also because tom holland is a great actor on spider-man that's why john watts you're the man about this film and number five is captain america the winter soldier captain america the winter soldier at the first um, I do not, I do not like it because in this, uh, I don't understand the story yet, but on this one, now I understand because S.H.I.E.L.D. has become Hydra and they betrayed Nick Fury and they, and they plan to take Nick Fury down all along and overall and, uh, the, uh, the commander of Hydra, the a friend of Nick Fury is, uh, a good villain also. I gotta say this one is um, an interesting film. I really love it. It's an excellent film. Coming in at number four, America Civil War. Now I kind of enjoy this a lot than the um, Captain Captain America: The Winter Soldier because in the Civil War, heroes collab with each other. They fight each other without. Um, unlike the Batman v Superman, they fight with no reason, but in this one they fight because of the Sokovia Accords, and Iron Man is taking, re is getting revenge on to Bucky because Bucky killed Iron Man's parents, that's why he's getting revenge at the end of this film, and that's why I think the Russo brothers did a great job as well as in the Winter Soldier film. So, overall, I think Civil War with the six versus six heroes is okay and baron zemo is making them so confused because of that excellent film coming in at number three is iron man the first iron man film now the one that started it all iron man i think is a good film i mean at the same time the best film for me and now when I watch the Black Panther, I think it's way better. <laughs> so yeah, I think um, Iron Man kind of resembles Obadiah Stane as a villain, as an enemy. He's making Tony so confused. That's why people are against Tony. And yeah, the Stark Industries, uh, the Stark Industries um, tech, which is the bombs and everything. The Jericho missiles. So that is why his tech versus Iron Man is a good film about this. And Obadiah Stane is planning to take down Stark all along. So that's why this film is a is a better, better, and the best film yet. And number two is Marvel's The Avengers now. We all know the Avengers is supposed to be the number one. But the Avengers for me is supposed to be the number two. Because now in the Avengers, they introduce all the characters in the MCU. Well, not all of them exactly, but 
but some of them are, which is the, uh, the first ever Avengers, the first the members of the Avengers. That is why I am very pleased with it, so that is why. Um, this film, uh, The Avengers, which is Loki again, and Battle with the Chitauri, um, destroying New York and everything, is a pretty good film. And overall, a good film, directed by Joss Whedon, now is on the director of the DCEU, but goodbye DCE, because I am on the MCU, because I hate DCEU, but I don't not hate it all that much, but I love the Wonder Woman film, but that's the only film that I want. But I think I'm gonna watch Justice League also, so to make a review on it. Yeah. So yeah, I mean this is a good amount of film, excellent, best film yet. Coming in at number one is of course Black Panther. So Wakanda Forever, and yes, we all know. I mean, I agree to me personally that this is a good, a uh, best. The bestest Marvel film yet. I mean, if Avengers Infinity War came comes out, I think Avengers Infinity War might beat the Black Panther. And yeah, overall, I think the uh, Black Panther is a good film because Michael B. Jordan played as the Arrow Killmonger or Najada Ka in the comics, which is his real name in the uh, Black Panther movie is planning to take out uh, the world also because the worlds are against him that is why um, he's planning to destroy it and he's planning to take the throne and that's why he battles uh, T'Challa and T'Challa has been up and yeah that is why I think this film is a very good and the bestest Marvel film because the CGs, the battles, I mean the comedy also are the great stuff in this film. So that is why um, directed by Ryan Coogler and he knows a Filipino word that is Salama and yeah. So thank you Ryan Coogler for making this film happen. So there you have it folks, I mean that's my top, um, I would say top 18 MCU movie films and yeah I think this is a great 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 film. There you have it folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video and now this is a great film and all and I do love it. So I'll see you next time, peace.